Welcome back. Now that your main devices are powered on and connected, it's time to set up your additional cake hardware. In this video, we'll set up your printers, cash drawer, and payment cube to make sure everything is synced perfectly for smooth operations. Step 1. Thermal Printer Setup Grab box F to set up your Epson thermal printer. You'll need the AC adapter, AC cable, orange ethernet cable, and a roll of receipt paper. Place the printer next to your cake POS terminal to keep it easily accessible during transactions. Remove the back and bottom covers of the printer. Connect the AC adapter to the AC cable and plug it into the power port on the bottom of the printer. Then, plug the other end into an electrical outlet. Now, connect the ethernet cable. Insert one end into the ethernet port on the back of the printer and the other into any port on the Netgear switch. Power on the printer. Once the LED lights stop blinking, the printer is ready to use. Now insert the receipt paper. Place the roll in the orientation shown, making sure it stays taut without unrolling. Pull the paper out past the cutter at the front, then close the cover. A slip will print with the printer's IP address. Be sure to save it for later in the setup process. Step 2. Impact Printer Setup If you ordered an impact printer, grab box G to set it up. You'll need the AC adapter, AC cable, a black ethernet cable, and a roll of receipt paper. Place the printer in your desired location in the kitchen to ensure easy access for order fulfillment. Connect the AC adapter to the AC cable and plug it into the power port on the back of the printer. Then, plug the other end into a wall outlet. Now connect the black ethernet cable. Insert one end into the ethernet port on the back of the printer and the other into any LAN port on the cake router. Power on the printer using the switch on the front of the printer. Once the LED lights stop blinking, the printer is ready to use. Now let's install the paper roll and ink ribbon. Open the paper compartment and ink ribbon compartment as shown. Install the ink ribbon under the front cover of the printer. Take the ribbon cartridge and gently tighten the ribbon knob, ensuring the ribbon is taut and won't get jammed during installation. Slide the ribbon cartridge into the slots on both sides of the printer head compartment, making sure you hear a click on both sides. Now, place the paper roll in the orientation shown, making sure it stays taut without unrolling. Pull the paper out, past the cutter at the front, then close the cover. A slip will print with the printer's IP address. Be sure to save it for later in the setup process. Step 3. Cash Drawer Setup Now, grab box E to set up your cash drawer. Place the drawer beneath the POS terminal for easy access. You'll notice an RJ12 cable extending from the center of the cash drawer. Connect this cable to the cash drawer port on the bottom of the Epson thermal printer. Reinstall the bottom and back covers of the printer. For smooth operation, keep the cash drawer unlocked during daily use and store the keys in a safe place as they cannot be replaced. Step 4. Payment Cube Setup Finally, grab box D to install the cake payment cube. Place the payment cube next to the POS. Plug the provided micro to USB cable into the bottom of the payment cube. Then connect the payment cube to any USB port on the neck of the POS terminal. This will ensure seamless payment processing during transactions. Nice work. Your supporting devices are all configured and ready to use. Up next, we'll take you through the onboarding process for your Cake POS terminal. See you there.